Reshot. He'll be the full of the soldiers of Christmas. Great the time. Reshot. Here's a nice fellow to tell you who my guests are tonight. You trying to tell me that they're moving the shine out of Orly in spring water bottles? You idiot, shoot the tire! What I call natural spirits. I've been drinking out of that bottle all day. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Good luck on your election. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Sheriff Lobo couldn't get elected town clown. Or something sure smells rotten. And that's me. I represent the committee to re-elect Sheriff Lobo. Oh, oh. There is a man the legends tell who stands for what is right. Like Wyatt Earp, he never shirks or cowers from a fight. He is our Sheriff Lobo, mighty Sheriff Lobo, a heart of gold Lobo. He was strong. He has no fear, he's always here, his morals stand alone. A man of dreams who guards our things as if they were his own. Sheriff, just like you said. Boy, oh, how'd you know they'd be running the shine out this way? It takes a special night to be able to think in the twisted, devious ways of the criminal element. Let's rope them in. Remember this route. This is Sheriff Lobo to all units. I'm in the pursuit of the Beauregard boys hauling a load of shine. They're heading south on the Sawmill Road. Anyone in the area, stand by to assist. This is Bertie, Sheriff. I'm in the vicinity and ready to offer backup. Ain't gonna need your help, college boy. There ain't no way the Beauregard's old pickup can outrun my clean machine. At least not with a full load on it. You watch where you're driving. What in the world were you looking at? Perkins, we got trouble. I just hate people who try to buy their way into an office. Well, it's unfair to guys like you who can't afford it. We get them, Bertie? Yes, sir. I nailed the ball regards about a mile up, hauling 100 jugs. Hot dog! Let's get down to the jail. I want to book them personal. A hundred jugs of shine. Not shine, Sheriff. Just a hundred jugs. They were empty. Why would they be hauling empty jugs? Sheriff, the jugs were empty, but the ball regards were running, which doesn't make any sense at all. Well, it makes sense to someone, and I know who that someone is. So the operation's going well. Oh, yes. 
I'm pleased to hear that, Waverly. Everything is just fine except for Lobo. He nearly nailed the Beauregard boys a short while ago. They were hauling a load of jugs. Hmm. Nothing illegal about hauling a load of empty jugs. You know, I can't say that it's been a pleasure, but I'm going to miss this place. Not for a while yet, Harry. You ain't paid up on your back rent. Well, it's been nice chatting with you, Harry, but I really must get going. I have that speech to make to the Daughters of the Revolution on a most important issue in the community. The moonshine business. Yeah, I've been reading up on that. It's a terrible thing when the local law can't control something like bathtub booze. I'll bet that's something the two of you know an awful lot about. Well, so long, Chef. Good luck on your campaign. You're going to need it. Good man there. He'll be a credit to the community once he's in office. Let me tell you something, Harry. I know you're the one behind this moonshine operation. Now, I ain't figured out how you're getting it out of the county yet, but I will. And when I do, you consider this stint as a guest of the county just a down payment on the rest of your life. <laughs> Waverly's just selling himself like any new product on the market. And because he's come up with a new and colorful sales pitch, people might be more inclined to try him out, you know? Compare him to the old staple. Like a deodorant? So? Oh, so if we start thinking in those terms and try to sell you to the public, well, then I think we've got a good chance. And I've got just a person who could help us out. She could sell anything to anyone. <laughs> Me help that crook get elected? Bertie, that's my boy. He's got away with the women, just like me. I don't have to get that boy. I'll admit the sheriff has some faults. I am too busy arranging the fundraising show for the Orley Orphanage. I'm trying to get Dean Martin to appear. Dean Martin? He's just over in the next county doing a telethon this weekend. If I can persuade him what a worthwhile cause we have, he might drive up and donate one evening. That'd be terrific. So you can understand why I cannot waste precious time doing public relations for that chiseling sheriff. Well, you ought to soften her up by now. Well, I guess uh, Bertie explained what I need. Yes, he did. We could sure use somebody with your particular talents in our campaign. Now, you can start at once, and uh, you don't have to thank me for the appointment. Sheriff, I have been trying to explain that I am spending all my time promoting Dean Martin. Is he running too? This is for charity. A good cause? And we're talking about a good cause too, Sarah. We're talking about Orley County and its people. If Waverly were to get into office, it'd be disastrous. The man's corrupt. I mean, really corrupt. I guess if you consider it the lesser of two evils. Two evils? Yeah, oh, Waverly and Harry Cunningham, the man pulling Waverly's strings. <laughs> right. Well, what's our first expert move? Well, the first thing we should do is find out exactly where we stand with the public. Great, we'll take a poll. Well, is that necessary? I mean, I've always been the people's choice. Sheriff, until this election, you have been their only choice. Now, you either go with me all the way on this, or not at all. All right, all right, we'll take the poll. Who's going to do it? Well, we're all going to be awfully busy. We'll have to find someone expendable. Is this a bust? Oh, no, ma'am. I represent the committee to re-elect Sheriff Lobo. I got all the magazines I need. Oh, no, no, ma'am. I'm just trying to get some feedback on uh, Sheriff Lobo. Oh, boy. Rex! Well, 
Hi there. Come on in. Now, what can I do for you, sugar? Well, I'm, I'm taking a pole. Taking a, a, a pole. Yeah. Well, you get my vote anytime, darling. I'm home, Lily. Really. We can all agree that the poll was not a major success. Our best bet is to make a list of our pluses and minuses, image-wise. Lists? What is all this talk about? I think it's all silly. I think what we need is action. The sheriff, Sarah's right. Waverly's got a head start. The important thing now is to make sure we don't do the wrong thing. Correct. If we make a list of your good points and bad points, It'll give us a chance to know how much trouble we're in. What you mean, Sheriff, is that it'll show us our strongest selling features, what to play down and what we need to play up. So, let's get on with it, Sarah. We'll start with your good points. Listing your bad points. Well, we might learn something from them. Uh. to join the force? No, I ain't had time to read it. Just go bring Harry his lunch and quit pestering me. Grouchy. My mother's right. You're a chauvinist. 46, old-fashioned. What? Waverly says he'll hire women, just like any modern police force. Well, that's one I got on you, Miss Smarty Pants. I have just hired someone. Who? Deputy Mercer, you are now on the force. Probably need her application, then. What's that doing in there? Sheriff, do you think this is wise? <laughs> I've really been looking forward to working under a fine, upstanding officer like yourself. <clears throat> I'll leave the training of the new deputy up to you, Bertie. Um, well, Sheriff, I was thinking of taking out the Beauregard still. So I think our best bet for breaking the moonshine ring is to follow a supply from the source through the pipeline. Uh, but, Bertie, you were supposed to give me a lift to my meeting with Dean Martin this afternoon. You got an appointment with Dean Martin? Yes. And I'm sure once I explain about the orphanage, he'll agree to do the show. Do you know the kind of draw Dean Martin has? Oh, yeah, he could raise the mint with just one show. Well, don't you fret yourself, Sarah. I'll be glad to take you. Oh, no need to go out of your way, Sheriff. It ain't out of the way when it's for a worthy cause. Listen, I'm here to give the people what they got coming to them. Hey, Margaret, I don't guess you're coming with me. It might be a good experience at that. I just have a hunch that we could crack this case. And that could be just the edge the sheriff needs for his campaign. <laughs> Well, listen, I'll come right over to fetch you, and I'll have the red lights and the siren on all the way if I have to. Perkins, we got trouble. We do? I thought everything was going real good. Getting Dean Martin to perform for the Sheriff Lobo fundraising benefit would be real good. What Sheriff Lobo fundraising? We don't... That's why you're going. I was wondering. <laughs> but we got a problem about my leaving right now. We do? Well, how is it going to look for me if Bertie makes a big moonshine bust while I'm out of the county? You're right. I'm going to have to stop that boy. Now you got it. Perkins? Yes, sir. Don't get caught. No, sir. We sure 
sure do appreciate you taking time for us, Mr. Martin, sir, knowing how busy you are and all. Uh, I'm sorry we weren't able to get together before this, Miss Cumberland. A drink? Thank you. I'd offer you a drink, Sheriff, but I assume you're on duty. Well, actually, I'm here on my own time just to help out them little orphans. Ain't you going to join us? Oh, good idea. Yeah. Ordinarily, I don't touch the stuff unless I'm drinking. <laughs> well, cheers. Well, let's sit down. Mr. Martin, I am sure your name alone would guarantee a sellout. And the kids could get the supplies they need and the new dorms built. Well, I appreciate your faith in me, Miss Cumberland, and I'd like nothing more than to perform for the kids. I'm glad you feel that way, Mr. Martin. And there's something I gotta ask you. Just so as we can save time, we could have both performances in one evening. That would make it easy for you to appear at my campaign rally. Campaign rally? Sheriff? Well, it's all tied in together. The, the renovation of the orphanages is my pledge to the people. I didn't realize this performance would be for a political campaign. Exactly. And that's exactly why I'm not going to do it. I make it a point never to do political rallies. Excuse me. Campaign rally. Now look what you've done. Well, can I help it if he's being unreasonable? You just think how unreasonable the voters are going to be, Sheriff, when they find out that it was your fault that Dean Martin didn't put on a benefit performance for the Orley Orphanage. No, you'll have to excuse me, but uh, the plane I was supposed to get on uh, it developed some mechanical difficulties, so I've got to jump in my car, drive to Atlanta, and charter a plane from there. And I'm very, very sorry. Thank you anyway, Mr. Martin. All right. Now, you feel free to call on me anytime you wish. Thank you. Coming, Sheriff? Oh, yeah. Oh, good luck on your election, Sheriff. Thank you, Mr. Martin. And, and listen, if you're ever in this area again, please feel free to just come by and see us. I hope to see you again real soon. Real soon. Look at them moonshiners. Gotta have enough for a full load by now. They've been at it for hours. And we've been at this for hours. And I have such a kink in my back. Maybe you could help rub it out. Stay still. That's wonderful, Bertie. Wonderful. A little higher. A little to the left. Oh, Bertie, there. That's the right spot. You've got magic hands, Bertie. <laughs> ID. You're going to be a decoy to get rid of them. Now, just go get the pickup. I know I brought you with me, but where are you? There you are, baby. 
my trusty little Swiss army knife. I'll just have to cut my way out of here. Looks like they're all loaded and ready to move out. Come on. weren't right. There was someone up there watching. Come on, Elmo. Come on. Come on. Go, hold it. It's all clear? Yep, just like you said, big brother. I told you, little brother, I got brains. I ain't even used yet. <laughs> <laughs> and his band are going to be coming through there on I-25 just at any time. Limousine has license number 393659. Stop that car, Perkins. But what about Birdie, Sheriff? He's liable to be on to something with them moonshiners. No, forget that. There's been a foul up on this end. It could be worse than Birdie catching the moonshiners. You've got to stop Dean Martin under any circumstances. Otherwise, it could be the beginning of the end. Now, get on it. Don't worry, Sheriff. I'll stop him. College boy, I'll get you some other time. It's an awful long route if she's headed for the county line. I think we've been ahead. Let's check it out. I'm going to have to ask you to show me what you've got covered up. Why, Officer Hawkins. He memes in the back of the truck. Since when is it a crime to take a couple of chickens over to my Uncle Sylvester's? All right, Buttercup, you can go. We'll play cops and robbers. Boys, some women. Slow down, will you? We're all legal. This water 
truck mountain. Make it nice and easy. Perkins is Sheriff Lobo. I read you, Perkins. How'd you make out? Uh, mission accomplished, sir. I'm near the junction over by Treadwell Corner. Good man, Perkins. I will be there pronto to clean up the loose ends personally. There'll be plenty to clean up. All right, stand aside. Make room for the lawyer. Coming through. I'll handle this. What? You have no idea what an honor it is to make your acquaintance. Dean Martin. <laughs> Small world, that's my name too. <laughs> I just can't get over who you are. You know, you look exactly like you sound on them records of yours. Uh... You think we could use a little first uh, aid here, huh? Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm trained in all manner of emergency procedures. Ow! That hurts. Oh, uh, some water. <laughs> If I didn't have business to take care of Mr. Martin here, I'd run you two in for blocking traffic. Make a run for it. Dark skunk. Hold it, you two. Uh, we got to get these deliveries through uh, Sheriff uh, D uh, D uh, Deputy Perkins, and we were wondering if we could just kind of move along. Well, yeah, I guess it's all right, but keep the speed down. Yeah, well. And, boys, I just want to tell you that I think it's just great you getting a, a decent job like this instead of running shine for your pappy. Yeah. <laughs> Getting an ambulance or something? No. No, I'm fine. Real fine. See, we're trained for this sort of circumstances. You're a regular Florence Nightingale. You know, something sure smells rotten around here. Oh, no, Miss Martin, that's me. That's you? See, I, I smell like a skunk. Well, I certainly wouldn't go around bragging about it. Well, can't we speed this up or something? I, I have to go to an airport. Oh, well, sure. I'm sure all this can be straightened out, Mr. Martin, as, as soon as the sheriff gets here. Sheriff? Yeah, he should be here by now. He... Here he comes. I'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
What I call natural spirits. Well, it's nice to see you again, Mr. Martin. Welcome to Orley County. But it's quite a place you've got here. Now, you have a natural spring where you uh, bottle this stuff? Oh, yes, sir. We're famous for Orley Hot Springs. People come from all over the world just to take the special rescue. You ought to try it sometime. You'll end up feeling revigorated and in the pink. Well, I'm sure. And this is pure water, no, no additives. That's right. Right out of the ground, absolutely pure, 100%. 100% proof. Yeah, well, but like I was explaining to your deputy, you know, I'd like to speed things up. I, I gotta catch a plane, you know. Don't you worry, Mr. Martin. I'm gonna get this settled pronto. To me, the case is open and closed. Perkins, I think we're gonna have to arrest that chauffeur. Arrest him? Yeah, drunk driving. Better take them all in and run an alcohol blood test on them. Uh, well, not you, Mr. Martin. We know how your tests come out. Negative, for, I mean negative, of course. No, but the whole thing is ridiculous. Oh, I know. It's a shame when you can't trust the men that work for you. All right, let's get this show on the road. Now, let's move out. Get in that bus and follow us. Yes. Mr. Martin, you, of course, can ride in with me. Oh, well. You done good, Perkins, real good. And that was a nice touch, spreading the booze around the scene. Real good. Well, thank you, Sheriff. <laughs> what? Did something around here die? What is that? Hey, oh, that's uh, a water truck was involved in the accident and it kind of took off in a hurry. I guess it could return it to them. It is the Orly Springs Water Company. Uh, the bottle in the office is practically empty. Then. No use letting a good bottle go to waste. Just bring it with you. It's all cleaned up in a jiffy. Sheriff, how can you keep my entire band locked up for drunk driving? Imbibing in public, that's the official terminology. Can't we just pay a fine or something and get this over? I, I got a plane to catch. Uh, coffee, Mr. Martin? Yeah. Mm. I'll have to make it first. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry about this, but there's just nothing I can do. Um, I'd like to bend the rules a little for you, seeing as how you're a celebrity and all, but we go strictly by the book here in Orley County. I'm afraid this matter is gonna have to be settled in Judge Mooney's court. Well, let's go to the courthouse and get this over. Oh, well, I wish it was that simple, but the judge is gone fishing. He won't be back till Monday. Monday? You mean we have to stay here till Monday? There's no other way? Not that I can see. Now, just hold on, because I may have thought of something. Just maybe the boys in your band could work off their fine by performing for a worthy cause. Now, I'm sure that Judge Mooney would consider that fair retribution, no matter what fine he would say. How is it, Mr. Martin? Good. This has a distinctive aftertaste. <laughs> I made it with the spring water. Gives it a little something. Huh? <clears throat> well, what do you say, Mr. Martin? You think your boys will go along with that? Well, no. This, this has nothing to do with your political rally. You know, no, no speeches. Political rally? Uh, what are you talking about? What political run? You know what I'm talking about. Your election. Oh, that, that plum slipped my mind. No, I'm talking about the fundraising benefit for the orphanage. See, that's my personal crusade. Yes, sir. Well, what do you say, Mr. Martin? We got us a deal? Oh, now, this is strictly charity, Sheriff. No political speeches. You got my word? All right, Sheriff. Okay, we'll do it. 
Oh, that's great, Mr. Martin. You just don't know what that means to me. I mean, to the kids. And, and I'm going to tell them personal. Yes, sir. When I go out there this afternoon to read them the funnies. He makes great coffee. It's just an instant. <laughs> well, let's drink on it. And, hey, how about giving some of this coffee to my boys in the band? You know, sober them up. Beats me. The sheriff said it was just one of those situations where everything came together. Evidently, Dean Martin ran into some sort of local trouble. The sheriff helped him out, and Mr. Martin was grateful enough to do the show. That is fantastic. Ah. Oh, hi, Mr. Waverly. Anthony, your uh, sheriff isn't around, is he? Oh, no, he's, he, he stepped out. Ah, well, I just want to have a word with Harry. Well, I don't know. Now, you know how the sheriff's been lately. <laughs> come, come, my boy. A counselor is always allowed to confer with his client. Now, I, I know how much you enjoy these. Oh, thank you. <laughs> here, here. Mmm, you sure know how to do things in style. <laughs> uh, the door. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, how do you like it? Makes you feel right at home, doesn't it? Yeah. What's up? Trouble with one of the shipments. The Beauregard boys had some kind of an accident. They lost half a load. This afternoon's? Yeah. I guaranteed that one personally. Well, we'll have to make it up, and as soon as possible. I've already got it in the works. They'll be going through with another batch within the hour. for you. Glad to see you, son. Sheriff, I think I figured out how they're moving that shine out of Orly. So I went down to the Hall of Records, and guess what? What? The Orly Spring Water Company was recently purchased by Harry Cunningham. And the only other stockholder is, guess who? Who? Waverly. You trying to tell me that they're moving the shine out of Orly in spring water bottles? So simple, who'd suspect? Bring water bottles, can you imagine? Hi, Sheriff. Stop smiling, people who think you've been nipping on the job. Moving shine out of the county in spring water. Bottles. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that this came from the Beauregard still? That's ridiculous. I've been drinking out of that bottle all day. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Anyone smell smoke? Perkins! That's from Peppy Beauregard, all right.
this is what happened. I've been waiting for this for a long time. That felt good. I gotta give you one thing, Harry. That spring water idea was one heck of a smart. Too bad you couldn't think of things like that when we were partners. Harry, keep in touch. 10-4 units, and we're moving out right now. Where we got? Charlie just spotted a spring water truck heading east on Highway 69. That's it. Let's roll. <laughs> Dean Martin's car again. Ah. We got them all, Sheriff. I got a headache that's so bad that my hair hurts. Enough for getting me in backstage, Sheriff. That's the least I could do. 
And I want to say that I'm truly sorry again about having to lay you off and all, but uh, what with the budget cutbacks? Believe me, it was a worthwhile experience. I hope you'll keep me in mind when you start rehiring again. You'll be at the top of my list. You were a credit to the uniform. Every inch of it. This is one of the greatest things that could have happened. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but maybe I had Sheriff Lobo figured wrong. He could have tried to turn this concert to his own advantage, but he didn't. Yeah, and now I'm not pressing, but it wouldn't hurt if the charity's organizing chairman got honorable mention, would it? I guess you're right. <sighs> singing for a worthy cause like the Orphan's Home and a great audience like you. Now, let's keep the applause going for a special lady because she has to take a bow, Miss Sarah Cumberland, right here. Why does he ask you to take a bow, Sheriff? Uh, I ask him not to. I, you know how I hate applause. For me, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for making this such a special evening. Thank you. <laughs> and let's not forget to thank our committee's organizing chairman, Sheriff Lobo. Sheriff Lobo. I'm sure you'll agree that without him, none of us would be here tonight. That's for sure. Yeah. All right, Perkins, any time. Perkins, now! Good evening, and you take this. Thank you. <laughs> something done right, you got to do it yourself. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Saturday night, bikini-clad beauties take a back seat when Ponch and John are called to break up a gang war on Chip.